Hi, my name's Dulce Hill. And last week I did a, uh, a video on resilience. And uh, I talked about my resilience. But today I want to talk about uh, resilience when you have multiple sclerosis. It takes resilience to adapt to life because life is like a whack-a-mole game. You know, every time you're going along, everything's smooth, another mole chumps up and you got to whack it. Well, MS is kind of like that. So uh, some of us have mild versions of MS and some of us have very aggressive, advanced types of MS. And to get on top of it, you have to be kind to your body. You really have to separate your mind from your body and look at your body as a pet you own. And, and it's not its fault that it won't walk or that it, it won't uh, go to the bathroom when you send it out to the backyard or, or it will go to the bathroom when you go out in the backyard and out away from the bathroom. So uh, um, you have to be kind to your body. Uh, your mind is, is intellectual enough to know that this body doesn't want to behave the way it is. So what I'd like you to do is um, every time a mole pops up, every time a symptom comes up, say you have uh, pins and needles on your legs, right? I don't think about the whole MS. Oh, this is it. You know, I, how worse is it going to get? No, just stay in that moment and think, what, what can I do to lessen this parathesia uh, symptoms, the burning the, on the legs. Uh, I have that when I wear shorts and sitting down on benches really hurts. So what I can do is wear uh, linen pants or uh, in the winter. I love winter, um, not because of the cold, but because I can wear leggings. Uh, suppose you wake up and you've got that scalp itch and, and every night you go to bed and it itches, your skin itches, right? Instead of uh, thinking about what it means and all, try some uh, apple cider vinegar mixed with water and spray your scalp and, and go to bed and see how that changing of the pH will help. Deal with each issue. Google the issue and don't think about MS. Um, say you, you're, you're having problems adapting with a cane. You just don't want anybody to see you with a cane. Well, you know what? Your brain is with that in crowd that doesn't, that can't see crippled people. And that's not right. That's not, that's not fair to your body. So, um, in order to be with these people, if you can walk further with a cane, with an adapt, with a walker, oh my goodness, I got a walker before I got, uh, I needed it. I, I could use a cane, but the walker, the rollator had a seat and it had a place for my lunch. And, and I, that became so wonderful that every line I was in, long lines, I'd start shopping on Good Friday or, yeah, Black Friday, Black Friday, I'd start shopping and I'd sit on the walker with all my stuff and let me tell you something, everybody in line, all the healthy people envied me. And I said, well, you ought to get one. I think everybody's got handicap stickers anyway. Why shouldn't everybody have walkers? Um, anyway, that's tongue in cheek. Uh, so please, please, please separate your mind. Be kind to yourself. Give this pet body everything it needs to succeed. And don't look at it as a failure of the body. You are given the body tools in order to succeed. You know, uh, uh, maybe a panty liner in case you have uh, uh, incontinence issue. Don't bring extra clothes. Don't set yourself up for failure because you're smarter and you know how the body's let you down. If you have a bladder infection or something, there's a neuro uh, 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 urologist that you see that can give you medication, that can find out if you've got hesitancy, hesitancy or urgency. You can go for physical therapy. Um, you can get a walk aid, uh, um, an AFO. There are so many things out to help us live productive lives. I adapted by using my scooter and a cane to get around, and now I'm, I'm getting buff. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for letting me share. This is the video I should have done before. Please subscribe. God bless you. I pray this brings you comfort. I, I really believe God put this on my lips for you to hear there. Um, go to MS Frontiers.
www.ghostbusinessinstitute.org and look at the resources we have for you. Um, and keep coming back. Thank you. Bye.